Hey guys, Team Fail here with my deck entry for Gold Monarchy 5's deck contest uh, for the Dark Arm Dragon. Link in the sidebar. Uh, first, I want to say I got White Knight Dragon for trade. It's a $30 card, so trade pretty high. Looks really awesome. Okay, this deck's called Chaotic Kitty. So let's get started. Two Chaos Sorcerers. I can't find my other one. I do have another one, but I don't know where I put it, so. Two Chaos Sorcerers, main card of the stack. Uh, you can get them out really easily in this. Cyber Dragon. Not only does he have a good effect where if your opponent goes first or whatever, if you have no monsters, you can drop him. As long as they do. And he's a light for Chaos Sorcerer. Two Necro Gardeners. These things are good to throw away. And then you can use them for Chaos Sorcerer or for stopping OTK or whatever. Two DD Warrior Lady. Uh, I was going to try three, but two works a lot better. This can be Rodud and for Chaos Sorcerer if it does get milled. Uh, three Diamond Dude. He's dark. Um, and he has nine targets that for the spell. And uh, you can throw him away with Destiny Draw. So. Uh, Gale. Uh, Gale Tuner. Cut your opponent in half. Plus is a dark. Plague Spreader. Same thing. You, but you can bring him back or remove him for Chaos. But nobody's going to really do that. And with him and Chaos you can make a level 8. So. And then this is the big surprise of the deck. Uh, Thunder Dragon. This card's really good for Chaos decks. As you can throw one away. You get two to your hand. For, you know... And then you get a light in your graveyard, plus you get all this, so it's really good. And then you can use this for hand destruction, which is in here too, so it's really good. Then, like I always do, yes, I like Rescue Cat, and no, I will not make a deck without it. <laughs> so, yeah, I got my Rescue Cat engine. This is light. These are dark, so it works well in this deck. Because they go to the graveyard basically instantly with the Rescue Cat. So, Dark Arm Dragon. There's a lot of darks in this, so you can get him out pretty easily. Plus, you throw a lot of things away, so you can just drop him. And your opponent can't do much after that. Especially with him and Chaos Sorcerer. Uh, Heavy Storm. Brain Control. Vortex. Those are the staples. Um... Yeah, everybody knows what those do. Mind control for synchroing. Two pot of avarice since so many things go to the graveyard in this deck. I put these in so I can just keep reusing all of them, especially the rescue cat. One book of moon because I couldn't fit the other one in. One rota because you can only run one, but. It has a lot, quite a few targets in the stack, so it's pretty good. Two Destiny draw. I only run three Destiny heroes, and I can keep getting that back, so this isn't really a dead draw. And even if it is, I have hand destructions where I can throw the Destiny draws away. But also, with these, I can get rid of any of the other cards, like the um, Thunder Dragons, whatever, and just get, keep going. Uh, Torrential, Staple. Two bottomless staple. Uh, call the haunted. I like this because you can get back rescue cat. So you can rescue cat. Call the haunted. Rescue cat. Get four. And get the whole engine instantly. Dark bribe. I really like this card. You, your opponent gets a plus one, but they use something like lightning vortex and they get negative one. So in solemn judgment, which is staple. Okay, so and then my uh, extra deck since. My side deck's all discombobulated right now. I don't really have one. Uh, Stardust. Uh, Ancient Fairy Dragon. Just because. Uh, Goyo. Black Rose. Colossal Fighter. Gaia. Uh, Armed Wing. Magical Android. Armory Arm. Red Dragon Archfiend. And Second Colossal Fighter. But Second Colossal Fighter will become an armed master if I can get one armor master but yeah so uh, trade for this check out gold monarchy 5 
Uh, subscribe to him. He's really cool. He has a really cool zombie deck. I kind of helped him out with it. Um, yeah, so. Peace.